Hey guys, welcome to this week's Q&A. This is something that we do every week. We are a church on campus, so we like to ask questions, but more than that, we like to get answers. Uh, so make sure you send in your questions uh, to the Facebook page or to the number on the screen. This week's question is, should Christians watch horror movies? And so for our answer, we want to go to Romans 14 verse 5. And it says, one person esteems one day as better than another, while another esteems all days alike. Each one should be fully convinced in his own mind. The one who observes the day observes it in honor of the Lord. The one who eats, eats in honor of the Lord, since he gives thanks to God. While the one who abstains, abstains in honor of the Lord and gives thanks to God. Basically, from these types of verses, um, there's a number of them in the Bible. Uh, it kind of leaves a lot of these things open to the Christian to decide whether they want to engage uh, in these types of activities. Uh, and so uh, what it indicates here is that there are matters of conscience in Christianity and that whichever one you pick, you should go with because that's what God is talking to you about. That's the conviction that he has given you. Um, so whether it comes to maybe drinking, God's telling you not to drink. Uh, maybe he's telling you not to drink for a little while. Maybe it's going out with somebody. Maybe he's telling you not to. Maybe it's um, moving city. Maybe God is telling you to do that. But whatever you do, you need to do it in good conscience in your relationship with God. He gave us that freedom. Uh, but that freedom is not something that we are supposed to use uh, irregardless of the people around us and irrespective of what's best for other people. Uh, further on in Romans 14 in verse 13, it says, uh, decide never to put a stumbling block or a hindrance in the way of a brother. In verse 20, it says, it is wrong for anyone to make another stumble. In verse 21, it says, it is good not to eat meat or drink wine or do anything that causes your brother to stumble. And there's kind of three big words there that we need to uh, understand and we need to notice uh, when we're talking about this kind of thing. The first one is to put a stumbling block in front of another brother. The second one is it is wrong to make anyone stumble. And the third one is it is wrong to cause a brother to stumble. And so there's a big difference between participating in something that you have totally good conscience over uh, and causing somebody to stumble. One example would be uh, drinking. There's nothing wrong with me having a beer, but if I have a beer in front of my recovering alcoholic friend, um, we start to put him in a compromising position. And it's very different to put him in that position as opposed to putting somebody who can who can kind of make uh, fairly reasonable uh, judgment calls in that situation. One is me putting somebody in a position where they're gonna stumble. And one is me exercising the freedom that I've been given. And the other person then has to has the choice to exercise the freedom they've been given. Now, there's a big difference between causing somebody to stumble and being the excuse for somebody to stumble. And then so the question might progress from there. Well, doesn't, doesn't uh, engaging or watching horror movies promote an industry that maybe provides an environment for some people to stumble? Um, and I would say that I think every industry uh, has the ability to cause somebody to stumble. Um, the food industry, people stumble over gluttony. Does that mean we shouldn't buy food off people? Um, the biz business world, some people fall into the trap of greed. Does that mean that we shouldn't uh, participate in the business world? The answer should be a, a pretty obvious one that yes, we're supposed to participate in all those things and there's nothing wrong with those things. And this is where it's helpful to understand the distinction between causing somebody to stumble and being the excuse for somebody to stumble. And so when we're making these judgment calls, when we're making these assessments of uh, what we should and shouldn't do, the ultimate uh, judgment call, the ultimate barometer for us should be love. What is the most loving thing to do in this situation? Uh, according to our conscience and our relationship with God. Maybe, look, I don't really need to do this, so I'm not going to do it. And on the other hand, it might not be a big deal for you. You might not have anyone that you're really going to stuff up, uh, and you might have a fine conscience between you and God about the particular uh, issue at hand, because uh, Jesus came to die for your freedom, and the Bible says uh, not to fall into a yoke of slavery again. We're not supposed to follow the law. We're not supposed to 
follow a do's and don'ts list. We're supposed to follow uh, Jesus and we're supposed to live in the free life that he purchased for us. That's your question of the week. Uh, if you want any follow up or anything like that, you can always send in another question. Uh, but that's it for this week. See you next time.